Yeah. I'm going to make a prediction. Mm. The winner of Best Picture at next year's Oscars is going to be Nosferatu. Why? I just feel it in my left testicle. I think you're just excited. I'm so excited for that. Just <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for your support. And Patreon, follow us on Twitter account. Go to the like button. I'm so excited. I, I haven't been this excited for a film in a long time. Nosferatu. Uh, today we got a the universe of A.R. Rahman. Ooh! Uh, who we're is, part of that universe. In case you didn't know. We've been there. Our best friend. We've touched uh, the outer hem. He's our best friend. Uh, and this is actually for Amazon Music. Um, something it just released. Um, and so it's, I think, him kind of going over his process. Uh, audiography or whatever you call it. Um, maybe for the world to know a little bit more about A.R. Rahman. Here we go. Oh, hi, this is A.R. Rahman. I'm a composer, music yep. producer, human being. Singer. About A.I. <laughs> you know, he is A.I. Our whole interview is A.I. So what is your universe ruled by? Chaos, chance, or precision? My universe is ruled by hope. That wasn't one of the options, man. Okay, so what what is the first sound that oh, you remember? Oh, great. My Question. first sounds were all being with my dad, recording Malayalam songs, where he used to arrange, compose, conduct. They used to send me along with his lunch, so I used to hang out for a few hours. One, two, three. Yeah. I didn't imagine the way my life would go because I was on a denial trip that I should not be in movies, I should do something else in music. But then, if you look at movies, movies are the best ambassadors for your artistry, at least till now. For me, movies are different and doing great things in music was different. The connections I had to make was to bring both, attach what I wanted to outside movies into movies. Mm. Roja changed all our lives. Did you know it would change your life? I loved the experience of doing Roja because first of all, it was like a jackpot, getting one of the best directors, which I adored with a lot of adulation, <clears throat> working with me. That itself was very satisfying. And uh, even though there were a lot of questions, will people throw the music on my face? Will I bring him down? <laughs> all that stuff was answered when, you know, it won awards and people started accepting it and all. I was in a trap, a good trap, from the age of 12 in the film industry, again as a composer for another 10 years. So my only escape to see what life is on the other side was to do the musical, get away to London, do my own laundry, cook my you know own breakfast, and walk to the cinema alone, go to a library alone, check out museums alone, walk in the park alone. And of course, my wife and my kids joined. Katija was very small at that time. Raim was very small. And, and those were the times which I feel like proud of now because we've not done that. Um, maybe my evolution of artistry would have ended. I became more India-centric and not expanded to the West or you know all the stuff which happened later. Oscars might have not happened. We've not understood the West more. Mm -hmm. and where we stand in perspective to the West or to the world talent, you know? Is there a story in your music that you're trying to create as well? Is that how you approach it? Every song is a story, in a way. After one minute, if you can't sustain the song, you just end the song in one minute. That's been my kind of mantra from the beginning. I love it when people have something which is familiar to us, but they also have something else which is not related to that. What is not related to that actually attracts me because then I can force myself to think to do something else with that artist. Whether it's you know, using uh, Mirdangam in uh, Jia Jale, which is a North Indian song, or Kawali vocals in a Bombay, South Indian, Can I Kya. People are very open. People, people want, people don't know what it is, but when something is nice, they have to share it. Chamkila, for example, they're, they're legendary artists, legendary songs, and the sound is really rural Punjabi. 
that you had to so go. So we had a nice workshop, yeah. We brought Punjabi Dola, Punjabi Singers, Punjabi Al Guza, Tumbi. We were just jamming for like three days. So we have loads of video recordings, audio recordings. And then we said, okay, this is what we're going to do. Because this is not what I want to do. I want to do something else. Now that I've crossed this, let, let me see what else. And then Imtia said, you know, we want to change the intro in Baja. One day he also felt like it's too long. And then with with the Niyatiti on under, changed the whole, you know, character of that thing. And he liked it very much and said, yes, let's keep it. And with Medan, did you try something like that? With Medan, it's a sports film. I've done a, I've done Lagan, I've done Pele, I've done Beagle. I didn't want this to be like, oh, this is work because Boniji has come to this movie, Amit has come for this movie. I felt like if I don't like this movie, if I don't like the songs in the movie, it's it's a waste. I should not be doing this movie. So Manoj comes in with the smiley stuff, and we just jammed for three, four days. You know, just give me this, lyric, give me that lyric. Most of the songs just happen like so fast, except one song. Team India took four to five iterations. Oh, uh, the women in your universe. My mom is a savage <laughs> critic. For instance, I said, uh, I'm going to label my thing Universal KM or something like that and said, why you just over, let it prove that it's universal and then you name it. No. <laughs> That's the kind of answer you'll get from. She had a very definite vision about me. She said, you have to be in music because your father did that and you have all these equipments. So I don't want them to go waste. <laughs> she was like a fort, protecting all the bad energies not to come to me. If there's any problem, she'll go sort it out. Hey, what did you do? What did my son do? Then there's my wife who's amazing, who's, a, who's taking care of my health and you should do this, you should not eat this and you should wear the shoes, you should wear this jacket. So all that stuff, she takes care of, so I can concentrate on music. Then, of course, my daughters are there now, who's going to question everything. Why are you working that guy? <laughs> and so we have my daughters, who are also into creative stuff. And then my sisters, who are also a main reason for me to stick with what I was doing. And so all of these women are precious jewels of my life. Who have you been in awe of? or excited to meet? I think I met all the people who I was... Um, I met Michael Jackson twice. Michael, I met him after the Oscars. So we were in, I was in a good position not to be very fanboy, but... <laughs> then in Nusrat Saab, I was very, very jet-lagged because we didn't sleep at all when we recorded him for Chanda Suraj, that song. Stevie Wonder, uh, it was like a four or five hour jam, so I invited all my friends. I called Shruti Asan to come in. I was in LA that time. He called me again to jam with him on the Harpy Jeep, but like, I couldn't make it. So when you when Stevie Wonder calls, <laughs> you don't say no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you leave everything and go. <laughs> you what you do. And how do you fill your cup again? How do you, how do you reset? I'm always in reset mode because so if you look at my Twitter or X, they know Academy winning, Grammy winning, everything has been taken off. Because mm. I feel that's, that's a luggage, it's, it's, I'm grateful for that. But I need to find the new, what is cool. It's not just music, it's building an infrastructure, being an educator. And it's uh, also finding a way to tackle the challenges of today, like AI and this and technology. And how do you balance the financial side to, like being too careful is a problem. Being too careless is also a problem to find the balance between that. Yeah. This is my universe at Amazon Music. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Time travel. Some great questions. Really nice interview. Yeah. I uh, like the format. Yeah, the uh, really good questions. Um, especially the, the one in the beginning. Um, it was, uh, what was... Uh, what What's was your it? earliest sound, sound. you remember? Because that's interesting, especially for for yeah for a somebody musician. like Aya Rahman, um, who you would assume hears a world differently. Yeah, um, really good questions. Um, something that you know, next time we have breakfast with him, we'll have to ask him. Yeah, I was surprised when she said, "Of all you know, the people you've had a chance to meet," I saw him thinking it, but he didn't say us. 
Yeah. Yeah. And he's, well, he, 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 he knows that he, that'd be per two. It's name dropping. Yeah. It's a, it's really name you dropping. You could just say Stevie Wonder. You could say like Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. But when you say OSR, you're like, you're probably bragging a little too much. Yeah. It's like, okay, all right. We know you know them. We get it. Um, and so that's why most people don't name us. Yeah. Because it's like, there's, if you watched all the red, the if you watch the red carpets for Dune 2, no one mentioned us for that very reason. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> those are great questions. Uh, I would love to talk to him again. And, um, over and over. Ask him. Could talk to all of our dosties over and over again um, for so long. But yeah, especially somebody like him. That's just nobody else is like him in the world, I feel like. Especially with his experience of working. There's uh, an ex- high levels in the yeah. West, high levels in, in India. Zimmer comes close because Zimmer has has in his aegis a lot of world musicians mm-hmm. that he works with and around. That's why it's not a surprise he's been uh, asked to be a part of and is going to be a part of an Indian film because Zimmer is surrounded by and his team of artists a lot of world musicians and he's very familiar with world music of all kinds. So he in the West, I would find the closest of international clout recognition and expansiveness of music knowledge. It's, it's A.R. Riman and Hans Zimmer. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they're working together. Yeah. Now on that uh, yeah. Indian from the Ramayana. Yeah. I mean, there's other magnificent composers who do great things, oh, yeah. but they don't have the notoriety. No. Great video, though. Yep. Uh, Enjoyed that. Uh, Let us know what other videos we can react to down below.